My name is Lost McDonald, and this is my hockey story. I grew up in the country just outside of Winkler, Manitoba, Canada. I come from a very small town, so there was never a whole lot to do besides play sports. My dad played hockey, which made it kind of a given that I was going to become a hockey player too. Since I grew up in Canada, my goal in hockey was always to play in the WHL. I think it's because most Canadians end up going that path. And so my younger years of hockey, getting picked in that WHL draft was literally my goal. I never really actually even thought about going to college hockey in the States path until I didn't get drafted in the dub and then I started playing junior hockey. So here I am in Winkler, which is actually only 20 minutes from my house. And this is where I played junior hockey for four years. Not many people get to live at home and play junior hockey at the same time, so I'm pretty glad that I got to. There's a lot of good junior leagues out there. I wouldn't necessarily get caught up too much in which one you're playing in. These days, every game's getting filmed. Coaches can watch you wherever you are. If you're playing well and you're getting good numbers in that league, I think the scouts are gonna find you. I came to the MJHL to play in Winkler because I knew players from Winkler that moved on, play Division One, or go to the WHL. So I believed if I came here and played well, there's gonna be a chance for me to succeed. And that's kind of why I wanted to play in the MJHL. When I played here, I wanted to make sure that I gave myself the best chance possible to move on to the next level and play Division I hockey. I made sure to email teams, get good grades. I even took the ACT, I think, three times, which was not fun, but I knew it would give me the best chance at college, and I wanted to make sure that I wasn't missing out on any opportunities. Overall, junior hockey, probably the best part was just being able to hang out with your teammates whenever you wanted because the majority of players weren't in school. Most guys weren't working. So it was pretty much just living with your best friends, going to the rink and playing hockey. Like, you know, nothing could beat it. And a super cool thing about it is that I'm still super close to a lot of the guys that I met playing in junior. Junior hockey helped me take big steps forward in my hockey career because throughout these years I really started figuring out what type of player I was and which areas of my game that I really needed to improve at. Playing 60 games a season, you're getting in the reps, you got the showcases, and then that's when things really started to pay off for me. Living two hours away from North Dakota and being able to go to the UND college hockey games was a really big inspiration for me. When I started to go watch those games, I realized how cool it would be to play Division I hockey. And then from that point on, it pretty much became my number one goal. In my fourth year of junior hockey, I really started to see things going in the right direction. I was getting phone calls with college coaches, some were coming to watch my games, and even to the point where I got to go on some official visits and see these schools in person. I clearly remember this one phone call. The coach calls me, he goes, we got an offer for you, there's a spot. Uh, my whole body just got goosebumps. So we finished talking, hang up the phone, they gave me a little bit to make a decision, and then that was kind of the process of how I went from playing junior A in Canada to going to play Division One in the States. So in 2017, my dream of becoming a Division One college hockey player came true, and I committed to the University of Nebraska Omaha. As a Canadian from a small town, there were a few reasons why I committed here and the facilities were definitely one of them. It was really cool walking into a place like this every day where you had everything that you needed and you got treated like a professional athlete. The experience here was incredible. I got to fly to games, play in front of thousands of people and compete in one of the best conferences in the country. Going from Junior A in Canada to playing Division I college hockey was 
quite a different change in pace to what I was used to. The guys were bigger, they were faster, smarter. The practices themselves almost felt like tryouts. It definitely took a little bit of getting used to, but eventually I adapted, and I think that as a hockey player, this experience brought my game to another level. This is where my first ever college class was. It's in the summer. I took it with my two roommates. It was like a history class. I think I got an A. So there's a few things on this campus that are pretty cool. You got the field house where like the athlete stuff is. This was the building here where all my classes were because I was in exercise science. I like the soccer field a lot. So we like go up and down the bleachers. We do sprints across the field, track workouts. Always enjoyed coming here to do that. That's the crazy thing about college is like four years, you'd never believe how fast it actually goes by. Within the two years that I was here for, it's safe to say that this was one of the best experiences of my life. Even if you removed the hockey part of the equation, I enjoyed every bit of it. In 2019, after my sophomore year at UNO, I found out that I wasn't gonna have a spot on the team anymore. Obviously, this was some pretty tough news to hear, and at the time, it literally felt like the end of the world, and it led to a pretty tough decision of, where am I gonna play next? Looking back at it now, I think that everything happens for a reason, and I'm glad that that adversity led to the opportunities that I have today. There was a few reasons why I wanted to come to Wisconsin Superior, which is a D3 school. I had some really good buddies on this team that I had previously played with in Winkler. They had a lot of good things to say about this place, and I figured my last two years I'd come play with them, get some more ice time, and hopefully win a championship. So a lot of good things ended up coming out of it, and I definitely don't regret that decision. Yeah, we definitely had some pretty grueling workouts on this track right here. When I got here, one of the first things that we did was we had 6 a.m. workouts, and I remember one of the workouts was we had to sprint this track 12 times in groups of like eight, and obviously you wanna be first in your group every time, so you go around, sprint down through here, and as soon as you cross this line every time, you're just laying on the grass, trying to get ready for the next lap. Definitely gonna miss being a part of a team. I think that'll be, probably be the, the weirdest thing. Got a lot of stuff to pack up. I know, they always say that four years will go by fast, but didn't think it'd be this fast. Time to go back to Canada. Playing D3 hockey made me realize that you're never as far from the next level as you think you are. It could be just one little thing that's making a difference. Whether it's your grades, your skating, and that's why you didn't stand out. But I think it's paying attention to those little details that make an all-around player that really makes the difference of getting to the next level. If you're watching this right now and you're about to head to school for four years to play college hockey, you are gonna be in charge about how fun the next years of your life are. Not whether you're getting ice time or playing a lot or maybe things aren't going your way. Attitude is everything. Definitely made some awesome friendships though throughout the years. That's like one of the biggest takeaways that I could probably ever have from playing hockey for as long as I did. You know, the relationships that you make. My hockey journey has been amazing. There were some tough decisions to make, but no matter what path I went on, either way, it would have been the best experience of my life. And I'm so happy and thankful for what the game has brought me.
Jackets. Jackets.